Hey guys, what's up? It's Coin Team Drew here. So um, here's box number, I want to say 13. Um, yeah, I think that would make sense. 13, 14, I got another one over here. I am so behind on video, guys. Uh, videos, not video. Um, I am so behind on videos, guys. Uh, today was the last day of school um, in regards to the third quarter, which means I have spring break now for about a week and... Um, it's basically like a week and like two days, literally. It goes from tomorrow, which is um, March 28th, up until uh, uh, another week after that. And then um, I don't go back Monday, go back Tuesday. So sometime in April, 7th, 8th, I don't remember. Um, I really couldn't even tell you if my life depended on it. Um, but uh, yeah, guys, so here's a box meant to do. I've had this out for like a couple weeks now. I think I did this box right around March 14th, 18th, something around there. Um, so let's dig in, guys. So um, got several dimes. Um, these were nickel rolls, believe it or not. And this was a whole machine wrap box. Sorry for the shaky camera. Um, got, um, what do I got here? A 78 or... 78, 2001, and 2010. Really dirty 2010. I'm pretty surprised here. Um, see that year, guys? I got a couple 2015s this box. First box of 2015s um, with 2015 cents in them, at least. Um, these are fairly circulated. Um, I mean, they're, you know, a little bit lower than uh, average. There's a really nice 19, or, yeah, 19, 2015. That one's going in my book. Um, and then this one right here is the one that I found the first time around. That's the first one I've ever found. Um, I just kept track of that. Uh, I got a really nice um, 72S, really nice condition. That'll probably go in one of my albums. Uh, 2002P, um, uh, Jefferson has hair, I guess. Black hair now. Um, very weird. thought that was funny. Um, got this, uh, I think that's going to be post-mint damage. Um, Smooth down on that side. It's really weird. I hope you guys can see this right through the viewfinder. It's not looking so great, but I've noticed the quality through the viewfinder really sucks compared to um, when I process the videos and upload them and all that stuff. Um, yeah, really like worn on that side. It's really weird. Um, I don't know if that's. I think it's just postman. I uh, managed to hit my stapler on that. Uh, that one I don't know why I kept. It looks like just really weird colors. Uh, 95, uh, misaligned die, and a possible RPM. Or don't focus, that too. Thanks. Um, I'll kind of get up a close-up on that one. Please don't go out of focus. Please don't go out of focus. Please don't go out of focus. Or just go out of focus, that too. Um, I'll try to get a good shot here. Um, that looks like an RPM to me, gosh. You guys are going to have to pause the video. See, so the thing is, this camera, I can't obviously use the loop on it. So if I try to use the loop on it, which I would never really have any reason to do it, um, I have to picture this. I have to think. Um, let's try this. Let's just try it. Why not? Um, yeah, that could Kind of helped, I guess, right? There's probably a macro setting on here, I'd assume. But maybe not. Yeah, very interesting. I think it might be an RPM. I could be wrong, though. Um, got a 60D small date, 72S, 73S, a couple Canadian nickels. I was really happy to find these. Um, these were 12 sided nickels in the uh, nickel roll. This is the first time I believe I've ever found these. Uh, 12-sided nickels in a um, machine wrapped nickel roll. It's usually always uh, customer wrapped. So there's a uh, 59 right there. So happy to get two of them. Got a uh, 62. And this was a really good box for Canadian nickels. I got a lot of these 99.9% um, nickel nickels. Here's a 68, 74, 74, and a 79. And then uh, I got two Canadian cents. I got the first year, 1953 young head portrait and a 58 young head portrait. And then um, possible 1997 double year. Um, you guys tell me what you think, if it will ever focus. Um, not sure. I don't think so, but might have one. I'm not quite sure. The weather is uh, pretty crappy outside, so the light 
lighting isn't that great right now. It's actually snowing outside right now. Um, come to think of it, that's not a double die, so never mind. Um, but it's actually snowing right now, and I'm really pissed off. It looks like it stopped right now, but it was snowing earlier. We got about an inch. Um, and keep in mind, spring. Keep in mind, it's March 27th. We had a 60-degree day last week, and we're going to have another one in a couple days from now. Don't you just love Ohio? Um, pretty ridiculous. Uh, and then we move over to Nichols here. Um, 39 plane, 39 plane, 40 plane. No, that's a 40S. Yep, told you. You can just tell by the striking of it. Weakness in hairlines. Um, got a 41 that was shot by something. It's a shame. It's in really good shape. Really good shape. Has shots all over it. Looks like they used this target practice. Look at that detail. Such, just such a shame. Really, it is. That would have had amazing detail, as you guys can see. But, oh well. Uh, I got a 46S, um, 46, that's an estimate mark right there, uh, 51 plane, decent shape, and a 52, has a scratch on the back of it, might toss it back, but you don't see 52s that nice, and a um, decent 58D that I'll probably just end up tossing back or changing with the one that's in my second um, 1938 to 1961 book, probably just do that, um, and we got some uh, wheat scents. Starting off, oldest note pre-1940s, got a 44, 44, 46, 46, 46 S, decent date, uh, 50 plane, uh, 56 D, and that's it. Um, not many wheat scents this box, uh, really skim or slim on uh, wheat scents. Um, you already saw the 2015 scent, that's going to my book um, relatively soon. I uh, got two 2009 set or yeah since 2009 of nickels. Um, this one here is a gosh. Um, this one here is a blur. Uh, it's a uh, 2009D, so very nice. And another 2009D. And uh, I don't know if I did this the last time I found um, my 2009 nickels, but um, here's my container of uh, 2009 nickels right now. Um, there's literally one in there. I want to say that there's one of them in there. And um, I've actually been getting really lucky with these 2009 nickels recently. Um, but uh, there's there's some in that box, some in that box. I'll go through it, um, take it out, do all that stuff. Um, I don't know if you guys know my routine, but my pattern is whenever I go through a box of coins, since my banks don't have coin sorters, what I do is I put all the rolls aside that have good coins in them that I picked out. I'll put the good coins at the edge of the roll. I'm going to go through them, sort them out, pick out what I want. Um, it allows me to kind of just think it over still if I want to keep it or not. Um, and um, yeah, I kind of just, just do that because um, it's a more easier process for me. So I bring this upstairs, even though I have to bring it upstairs and downstairs, it's not a problem. Um, and then I have my nickel stacks here of extra nickels and extra pennies because I have to replace the rolls. And like I said, if there's no coin counters, you, you know, um, kind of have to do this. But if there were, I wouldn't have that problem. So. Um, I, I mean, I don't mind doing it, and I don't mind driving from bank to bank because, you know, hey, uh, dumping off a box here and picking up my new box there isn't such a bad thing because then I can exchange all this for, you know, dimes, which I'm going to do today when I get my uh, box number 16 of the year. Um, I will get a bunch of dime rolls, 125 in dimes like usual, and uh, we'll see if I can score through there. Um, and then uh, probably the one of the better coins here, um, enough of me rambling. Got a uh, fake war nickel. Uh, you guys have probably seen these from me um, in the past. I've found several of them. Um, not many of them, but I found several of them. Um, mostly 66s and stuff, or 64s. Um, this one's a little bit of a slanted fake mint mark. They just took a P stamp and they um, they must have had a mallet and some stuff and they just went and um, popped a uh, fake war nickel. And I found several of these. I don't. I don't know why I find so many of them. Um, I think I'm up to like five or six of them. This is the first 66 I have. So um, I thought that was cool. Um, I'll try to see if I can grab the stack of them. Um, where are they? Okay, here they are. Um, I think I have one of them in a coin uh, two by two, and then these here I just have loose. Um, I'm probably just gonna make a roll of these, starting a roll of these. Um, but look at this. I got all these. Um, these are mostly 64s. There's a 64 right there, I believe. Yep. There's another one. 
And that one's going to be a 70s, I believe. 71 or 72. 72 right there. And uh, that one's going to be a 64 for sure. Yeah, right there. 64, plain. Uh, it's funny how they're all uh, planes. Um, I found that funny. Every single one of these is a plane, including the one I just found. So literally, we're up to um, five of them. Yeah, uh, maybe another one. I'm not sure. Uh, but they're always funny to find. So, uh, hey, I hang on to them. Maybe I can get like three bucks for a roll of them. <laughs> um, I don't know. Probably not. They're pretty much just worth face. But, hey, you know, um, they're cool to say that you found one. Uh, probably if I get a whole roll of these, I'll probably save like the nicest one and uh, haul it off to the bank because there's no reason for these really. Um, unless some of you guys want them, I'll probably throw them in packages. They're very cool. A little uh, extra pieces and stuff. So, yeah, guys. Thanks, guys, for watching. Um, that's it for this one. Um, got more videos to make. Got three more videos to make. Um, got some more to upload. Uh, pretty frantic and stuff. And uh, like I said in my last video, I'll be uploading at night, by the way, guys. So if you don't see it come up in your feed in the uh, midday or whatnot, uh, don't be worried. I'm still uploading. Um, just uploading at night. So uh, make sure to check your uh, subscriptions from overnight and stuff. And uh, yeah, guys. So thanks, guys, for watching. Happy hunting. And I will see you guys later.